Hi, I'm Kenny Shoulders, House Pro at Tempin Alley, Wilmington, North Carolina, and today we're going to talk about bowling shoes. If you only bowl once or twice a year, you'd probably be just fine just renting the shoes from, from the bowling center that you bowl at. But if you bowl more than that, you're definitely going to want to purchase your own bowling shoes. Bowling shoes start anywhere from $30 and go all the way up to about $200. And the main driver in price is determined by the performance characteristics and the quality of the bowling shoe itself. Now what you want to do is you want to talk to your pro shop operator so he can determine exactly what kind of shoe that's best going to suit, suit for your needs. And depending on if you're going to be bowling in competition or if you're going to be bowling a lot in leagues, then you're going to want a higher end shoe. If you're just bowling recreationally, maybe once a month, a lower end shoe will be just fine. The best way to take care of your shoe is you want to just use a solution of mild soapy water to keep the, to keep the leather clean. And on the bottom of the shoe, you want to use a, a wire brush to bring the nap up. Don't get this wet down here. You want to make sure you just bring the nap up with a wire brush and keep the clean. If you step in any chewing gum or anything like that, that'll bring that out. You want to make sure to keep your bowling shoes in a bowling bag. And the best thing to do, a little tip, is to unzip the, where the shoe compartment so the bowling shoes will air out after your bowling session. And I wouldn't leave them inside your trunk or your car or, or inside the garage. Make sure they're in a controlled environment, possibly a locker at the bowling alley, and that's what we're talking about bonus juice.